Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, end of day's trading, Wednesday, the 27th of July 2016. Please be sure to visit tradesignal.com. Trade signals and market updates from uh, leading providers. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's try and decipher exactly what's happened here in terms of the, uh, the actual markets to today. The European session closing positive again. FTSE up 26 points, German DAX up and the uh, French CAC along with the Euro stocks. Certainly ignored the weakness in the Shanghai Comp overnight and uh, certainly the Nikkei seems to be dictating with the additional stimulus or so the stimulus trade certainly seems to be dominating. In terms of the UK, we certainly had mixed data. We had stronger GDP from the UK, but then we had uh, weaker CBI data from the UK. So certainly a negative slant there. Okay. Uh, obviously, we had the potential talk of uh, the lack of uh, rate hikes yesterday. Also, oh, we the lack of QE yesterday from the UK. Uh, okay, so again, certainly uh, downplaying the potential QE concept. Now, same with the uh, FOMC as well. Uh, now, in terms of uh, bullish arguments today, we had stronger GFK consumer confidence from, from Germany. Italian uh, confidence certainly stronger as well. Uh, okay, US uh, loans, uh, new home sales, Richmond Fed, that was yesterday. Glaxo, Altria, Comcast, that was more or less today, coming out stronger. In terms of the bearish arguments, you had durable goods and pending orders. Uh, pending the home sales from the US certainly come out on the weaker side. We had weaker earnings from the likes of KLM, Bayer, BASF, and uh, Mitchells and Butler. So again, certainly negative uh, argument there. One of the biggest arguments for bearish bias today was uh, the fact that China was down overnight. So again, indicating uh, a resistance. French unemployment numbers certainly came out weaker as well. Caterpillar and McDonald's certainly weaker as well. Okay, so again, certainly a lot of strong arguments in terms of, uh, well, that was yesterday, sorry, strong. Uh, might not the cat bill, but again, certainly strong arguments. Okay, certainly strong arguments. Twitter obviously up and in, came out strong versus Twitter coming out weaker. So, again, it's, it's all about China. Okay, really, it's all about China. FOMC has just released its uh, basically uh, its comments, and they certainly are more hawkish than expected. So, given the fact that they're hawkish, certainly expecting a negative slant on uh, European equities going into tomorrow. The daily chart of the German DAX, let's bring this up for you. Let me bring up the weekly first of all. Weekly, obviously, you're into this key diagonal trend line resistance. Daily chart, at the moment, you are into that horizontal resistance and you've certainly put in a doji. Okay, so that doji certainly will act as a potential resistance on the German DAX. 60-minute chart of the German DAX, let's just zoom in here. Okay, so again, key resistance is seen at 10.350 on the German DAX. So looking for weakness here. Okay, so you can see horizontal resistance there. You've obviously left an unfilled gap behind. So again, potential gap fill candidate at the moment. You have an unfilled gap at uh, 10,250. So watch out for 10,250 potentially being closed. Okay, so again, you have horizontal support here and horizontal resistance up here. So we're going to be oscillating between 10,300 and 10,340, 10,350 on the uh, on the actual German DAX. So certainly watch out below. In terms of the next move so again all eyes on that uh, potential gap fill on german dax the french cac let us bring this up for you folks looking at the daily chart the french cac at the moment again horizontal resistance topping tail 200 ma gap fill resistance indicating weakness 60 minute chart at the moment again horizontal resistance at gap fill so again a flush and you have that unfilled gap so it's all about that unfilled gap from my perspective from this uh, trading perspective so again previous re resistance equals support so watch out for that zone there and it's all about that gap for being unfilled at 4390 so watch out for that gap below okay so again indicating risk aversion okay in terms of the french cac FTSE 100 let's just go to the daily chart first and foremost daily chart again potential topping tail towards the close the weekly chart clearly shows you potential resistance in this region here which is currently seen at uh, 6775 to 6805. So watch out for resistance there. 60 minute chart, we're zooming in. We finished with a bearish engulfing candle. So again, looking for a bear flag formation, folks. Okay, so it's all about the bear flag formation. Again, previous resistance equals support. So certainly bounced off there for now. But again, overall looking for a potential weaker move. The 10 minute chart certainly has a HNS formation with the unfilled gap below at 6706. Certainly expecting that gap to close, coming back into support in this region. So clearly a H&S formation certainly triggered and confirmed today. 
Okay, last but not least, Euro stocks. Let's bring up the chart of Euro stocks for you, folks. Okay, Euro stocks 50. Uh, again, bringing up the daily chart of the Euro stocks 50. You can see we had a topping tail at the diagonal trend line resistance, indicating weakness. 60 minute chart at the moment, still higher highs and higher lows. So, again, you have to give it the benefit of doubt to that from that perspective. 10 minute chart at the moment on the uh, Euro stocks, again, looking for weakness, looking for gap fill at 2980 on the euro stock so certainly a weaker overall okay so again looking for a flush in this market okay so again 2980 is your gap fill support target okay now in terms of the price of oil let's bring up the price of oil give you an insight here again the price of oil certainly is flushing on a daily chart you can see that we are potentially going down to uh, 40.9 currently 42 at the moment so again uh, certainly uh, scope for further uh, movement lower okay so again potential gap fill candidate below so oil prices certainly remain low and therefore looking for the FTSE 100 to flush as well and to potentially move lower okay folks so again watch out for that potential low okay right in terms of the Let's just have a look at the actual uh, US markets now. Let's just bring up the US markets, see how they're faring. Let's just have a look at the S&P 500. Again, holding that key resistance zone here. Just bring that up. Okie dokie. Okay, so certainly flushing pretty impressively here. Eh? Okay, so all eyes on the markets now. So S&P 500 certainly flushing on the 60 minute chart. You can see that we've certainly created this wall of resistance at 21.75. S&P has an unfilled gap at 21.50, so certainly be careful of that. Uh, the 10 minute chart certainly potentially flushing lower here down to 21.60 zone. So certainly look out for the uh, potential uh, risk off trade. Okay, so again, looking for a flush in this market okay the uh, daily chart the s p 500 certainly has been um, meandering and it's again looking to potentially retest this breakout level from my perspective so 2115 certainly not nuts and certainly can't be uh, discounted out but for now you're looking at gap fill, gap fill at 2150 on the s p 500 so again looking off for a risk off trade okay i think that should be sufficient for now folks be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly take advantage of that 25% bonus. Goodbye now.